Arsenal Fan TV, uh, what, what, what's your emotions today? Are you disappointed? Are you angry? Or are you like, you know what, let's give the team credit. They got, you know, they came back from 3-2 down. It was looking bad and could even have won it in the end. I'm mostly frustrated because um, I think uh, if you look at the game, it pretty much sums up our season. We look like a team that want to finish in the top four. We don't look like a team who wants to challenge for the title. It pretty much sums up the season. Mm. We got the chance, we have the two nil lead and we screw it up. Mm. Again, again, uh, again and again, we screw things up mm. and we've been doing that all Long Not one of them things. I mean, do we do we have to start? You know, look at it. Is I give West Ham a bit of credit. You know what? They they they, they you know they fought their way back into the game. Not an easy place to come to. Haven't lost there, have they, since August? Yeah, they, they played good. They uh, scored on their chances. Mm. Uh, but the thing that's uh, irritating me is uh, like when we uh, when they scored their first goal, we look so afraid. We look mm. like we're mentally like now we're gonna lose this game. Mm. We're like, uh, the place looks like, now we're going to lose it. First mm. goal. It shouldn't be like, yeah, they score a goal and they, they should be calm. We're still leading. Take control of it. We lose mm. the control. And I don't know why we lose the control, but somehow we lose the control. Mm. And I don't know why. Mm. But that's the worrying thing. Mm. And I, Now, listen, I know you, 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 you represent Arsenal, Gothenburg. There's a lot of you guys over there, in the, you know, you support Arsenal. What's the feeling over there about it? You hear some of the guys around it, not him, <laughs> but, but you hear some of the guys um, over here, they, they, they feel that there's time for a change in management. How do you feel about it? How do, you, how, do you, how do people in general over there feel about it in Denmark? In Sweden, we... Uh, Sweden? Sweden. <laughs> sorry, no, no, no sorry. Worries, no worries, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... We're, Grade E for geography at school. No, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. sorry, Sweden. No, no worries. Mm. But I think it's pretty much like it. We have fans who want to change and we have fans that have big... Uh, they, that believe in Wenger. But uh, for me, I'm a fan who's only seen Wenger and I some, somehow I love him. But on some... Some level, I feel like we're standing still. We're not moving forward anymore. Mm. Uh, this season got me realizing. I think we're not moving forward. We should be moving forward, but I don't think we're moving forward. And that's mm. so, so. Maybe I think we need we need some kind of a change. If that's the manager, it's the transfer policy. We need some kind of a change. If it's the players, it's the manager. I don't really know, but we need some change because it feels like we're standing still. Yeah, we won the FA Cup two times, but it still feels like we're standing still. We're not moving forward. I don't know why, but we're not moving forward. Well, what's, what's the biggest risk, Robbie? You know, why are people so scared of change? Can it be any worse than what we're getting now? Everyone, no, I, suppose everyone, had, I suppose we've got to look. If you've had a manager, he's been here for so long. We are all in a comfort zone, innit? That's a, that's, let's that's face it, we is. are. Everyone is. It's like being in a relationship that you know has ended mm. and you just carry on and on and on for the sake of the children or something. Mm. You know, and that's what it's like.